tipping the scales at a feathery 1,220 pounds, so towable by vehicles that normally just could not tow an enclosed trailer. Kind of flirting, frankly, this is lighter weight than most pop-up tent campers you're going to find. This is something chances are most of you have never seen before. It's called a vestibule. It's obviously in that kind of teardrop sort of segment. It is a very different critter. It's very fun though. This is a private company. They don't work through dealerships. Um, they only sell direct. And the thing is right now, they have a 10 month waiting period. We called to verify that. Uh, we are selling this on behalf of the owners down here at A1RV. And uh, this is something I think the phones are gonna be snapping right up off the hook for. I just don't think there, well, there's a lot of people looking for something that is well built, but small. Now this has a fully painted aluminum exterior, so it's not like fiberglass or, or anything like that that could um, easily oxidize over time. Now, of course, aluminum can oxidize. You still should take care of this thing, but it is going to be extremely, extremely weather resistant. And it is full of all kinds of weird, wacky, different, fun little features here. Like, you know, just the tongue jack. Now, the thing's light enough it was parked the other way. I just pulled it by hand and, and moved it into its current position. So, like, if you you want to park something in a garage, you could you could easily park this in a garage. I love this little cargo pod that they have up here on the nose. It's a perfect place, like, if you've got wheel chocks or something like that, you could put it in. But what you're seeing right here, previous owners had a full RV cover for their little vestibule here, and that is to be included with the sale of this RV. So you're getting a late model camper that is built like a champ wait till you see some of the cabinet construction inside of this and uh you know a extremely weather resistant s sort of airstream ish exterior in a way you know there's there's some qualities that are similar there and you're getting an rv cover to keep it protected even further now it has i'm almost going to call it like dragonfly wings style doors both doors can swing way open like we're seeing right here and it's got a really cool interior now if you notice over here uh like everything on this everything does two things you can have windows or you can block them off you have these little flip up side stands and i have one in place in here so that you can see it and you will see that like the structure of this is all aluminum and then all of the wood is a true plywood these are, like I said, uh, not built in high volume. They are, I don't even know if the word built makes sense. They're more handcrafted, if that, if that feels better to you. It feels like a better description to me. Now, what's interesting is when, you're, when you get in here, it's almost like you're, you're climbing in the front seat of a car. And, uh, you know, the sunlight blaring in through that windshield is being a little difficult. So I tell you what, this thing's so light, I'm just going to spin it around. Because like I said... It ain't hard to move. There we go. I think that'll give us a, a much, much better view of the interior here. Now, I mean, it's, like I said, the, the woodwork, everything in this is sharp. I'm not really sure where I want to start here. Really, when you look at it, it's funny because it kind of looks like the front seat of a vehicle where you have, you know, your little foot wells there. And it's almost like you're looking out of the windshield of a vehicle. But instead of going down the road, you're looking at a, you know, little windshield to adventure? I, I don't know. I, I didn't really think about how I was going to say that, but you get the idea. Now, uh, again, you see the little side stands here, but uh, this actually has this big honeycomb style front windshield cover, which does a great job of blocking out the light. And there is a little removable kind of middle dining stand thing here. If you're so inclined, you can uh, give yourself a little spot to have a bite to eat or maybe do some mobile work. When you're not using it, underneath your sofa bench front seat whatever you want to call it you see you've got those pockets there on the other side's the spare tire and you can keep that dining table down there when you're not using it and then of course the whole sofa folds down into a bed so the sofa is the bed basically they are one in the same thing it just kind of bends a little bit and snakes around then you lay it down flat when it's time for sleeping now you might be wondering how big is the bed in that little thing well I'm like 6'3", 200 pounds of dad bod, and folks, I'm not going to lie. I was uh, I was pretty impressed. My feet are not touching the wall down here. Enjoy my little Walmart socks. <laughs> but it's surprisingly spacious in here. I was quite impressed it passes the big guy test. 
And when the bed is in the down position, you see this entire rear wall becomes lots of storage. I think I would probably personally leave the bed down most of the time. Now this has almost marine style, kind of like porthole style windows. If you take a look here, they just, uh, the latch end uh, pops off there and you pop those little covers out and simple and easy. Now there's switches for the light so they're easy to get to. Uh, you can see again, all the cabinetry in this, it's all CNC routed. It's all machine precise within one thousandth of an inch. <laughs> it's Definitely better than what I would get with a screwdriver, let me tell you that. Um, and uh, all plywood, again, real like marine grade plywood constructed stuff here. Every little nook and cranny was utilized. You see how there's little holes uh, in the size of that cabinet in case you want to add some little shelf organizer units. And the uh, pockets are actually quite deep. They go right down in there. Now you see these little plexiglass sliders right here. Uh, it's kind of almost like the back seat of, uh, you know, an F-150 or whatever, where you have that sliding window in the back. And then for, you know, cooling and comfort, you have this 12-volt uh, XL Max Air vent fan up top here. And when I slide up top, you see it includes its own rain vent cover so that on a rainy day, you can keep yourself out of there. Now, the folks who are Detroit Red Wings fans, if you're more of a uh, Colorado Avalanche kind of fan, I'm sure we could peel those off there, although that is kind of sacrilegious to do here as a Michigan-based dealership. But folks, our first dedication is to our customer, not to our local hockey team. <laughs> now, these things have all kinds of different factory options, like vestibules, the shell, the bed, the sofa, they don't make like different floor plans. This is it. This is a vestibule, but they can be outfitted in different ways. And this one has a very common teardrop style kind of flip up rear camp kitchen here. I like how even that has the window and these little side view pockets. Now those snap on and off. These little wings can snap on and off. So, you know, if you're, you don't want them there in the way, you don't have to. I like the lights out here too. And this is all gas strutted, so it's easy up and down. You can see how, although it is small and compact, they've done a great job utilizing the space here. I like how, once again, everything has two purposes. Like when you're not cooking, congratulations, you have counter space, you have easy reach outlets. You can pass things back and forth from somebody inside. Like if you're sitting there in sofa mode and uh, you wanna you know, pass food through or something like that to the person who's sitting in there, you can. Handy little spot up here if you do have you know a little drink in your hand or something like that, place to put it, but also a place for your silverware. Everything is done with purpose and intent. And where you also see that is down here in the storage below the kitchen section. Those door panels slide out of the way and the, the little kind of platform slides out to you. And uh, you know, if you have one of those little 12 volt cooler, any kind of cooler, I don't know, I don't know. I think you could do just about anything you wanted with this, but frankly, that's only half of the storage outside here. Because you see over here, you have easy access to things like our water pump. And they said, hey, we're not going to waste it. We're still going to open it all for storage. But you know what you need in the kitchen? Drawers. How about three plywood full extension ball bearing glide drawers? And then up top, you have a handy little slide open wax on wax off cutting board. Now you can take that around. You can use it uh, for, um, you know, husband attitude modification. Uh, ladies, as my, my, my wife calls it, I get out of line, she could whack me with that. This also has a feature called Theft Defender. If somebody is on your campsite who's not allowed, you can crack them with it, keep them away from your beautiful little vestibule. <laughs> I think you get the idea. These are different. This is not going to be for everybody. This is fun. I've seen various little teardrops over my career. This is the first one of these I've been personally able to put my hands on. I like it. It is, it is built. I mean, this is something you could pass down to your kids. <laughs> like I said, kind of has, in that regard, sort of that Airstream thing going on where it is definitely, definitely built to last. These are not a mass production unit. This is like, here's what they are, here's what we got, and I uh, hope you like it. But this is slick in a lot of ways. So give us a call down here at A1 RV. Whether you're, you know, whatever you need, guys, we'll get you, can I would say hitching. This thing doesn't need a whole lot of hitching, but if you are so inclined, of course, we could make that happen. Regardless, take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.